Hey guys! Today we're going to make a spring logo animation using DUIK After Effects tool. First, we have to download the DUIK plugin for After Effects. Go to this website which I will be providing in the description below. Navigate Tools, then After Effects. Then, download Doodoo FiK Tools. Just install it before you open After Effects. This software is free. Please donate to the creators if you have some extra bucks. Now drag your desired logo or any other image you want. This technique could also be used for text. I used the masking tool to separate parts of the logo. So I can animate each part that I want. Just duplicate the logo layer to create more masked parts of the image. Until you recreate the whole logo. I already did this part so you can just pause this video while you're working with your image. As you can see, I have one layer for each part of my logo. For each layer, by pressing the Y key, I move the anchor points to where I want my animation to happen. Then, I turned on the 3D switch for each of my layers. I did it so I can have control over the X, Y and Z parameters. But it's your call if you want to animate only on a 2D axis. I also arranged my layers in sequence to what I want to pop up first. Now it's time for the fun part. Animating the layers. Based on my example animation, I keyframed the Y axis rotation. Be sure to animate the X, Y, Z axis and not the orientation parameter. You can add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon beside any parameter. You only have to put two keyframes for each parameter. Your start and end animation. In my case, I put minus 90 as a start animation and back to zero value as my end animation. Once you're done, click the parameter you animate and make sure the two keyframes created are selected. Go to Windows. Then navigate the DUIK plugin down below. The DUIK tool windows will pop up. In here you will see Rigging, Automation, Animation, Cameras and Settings menu. You wanna go with the Automation menu. Now with the Y rotation axis and keyframes selected, click on the Spring Automation effect. It will apply a Y rotation spring effect. This adds a spring-like effect on your animation. Now, adjust the effect values depending on your liking. Mine are as shown. Do this for all the layers that you want to spring. This effect can also be applied for other parameters like position, scale and opacity. Just follow the steps we did and you're good to go. For the circle in the middle, I just used the scale parameter to spring animated. That's why it is not a 3D layer. As always, thank you for watching and please, hit the like button and subscribe.